Hi, this is John on behalf of Expert Village. In this video clip, we will be diagnosing our problem. We have a bathroom here that is set up with an older style faucet. Now, over the years, this faucet has developed a leak, which has gotten progressively worse. My initial diagnosis is that the rubber O-rings inside the faucet handles, which help form a tight seal, have broken down over the years um, or have become cracked or damaged. In this series of video clips, we're going to go ahead and replace all of our components. Since the leak is there and our components are old, it is not really cost effective to put a lot of time into just replacing those O-rings and then having to replace something else three months or six months down the road. For Village, in this video clip, we will be removing a bathtub spout. Now there are two main types of bathtub spouts. There's the type that spins off and there's the type that pulls off. If you happen to have a type that spins off, what you want to do is take a screwdriver or a wrench and stick it in the end of the faucet and you're going to rotate it until it turns off. If you have a type that pulls off, you want to loosen the set screw that's located underneath your faucet. And then you can take a firm grasp on it and wiggle it a little bit as you pull it off. In this video clip, we will be removing our insert. Our next step is to remove this insert here. This is what houses that o-ring that helps make that seal nice and tight. So if my initial assessment is correct, once we pull this out, the components probably won't look very good. In most applications, you should be able to use these tub and shower socket kits. What they are is they are different size sockets that will fit in and allow you to take out this insert. Now because this house is almost 30 years old, that means that the faucets have been in here for almost 30 years and I felt that I would need just a little bit more muscle to take these out. So I'm using a 15 16 deep socket with a half inch ratchet. Now unfortunately when I put my socket on, my faucet sticks out too far that I can't get in there and grab a hold of that nut in there. So what I'm going to have to do is take a hacksaw and cut this off and make it just a little bit shorter. And now I can fit my socket in there all the way and grab on to what I need to. Next we need to go ahead and attempt to get this off. Once that's loose, we can finish taking it out by hand. As I look at my components, it does look like there's a significant wear. In this video clip, we will be removing our hot and cold water handles. To remove the handles, it's pretty easy. There's a cap located on the front of the handle. I'm going to take a flathead screwdriver and I'm going to pry that cap off. And that's going to give me access to a Phillips head screw. So I'm going to take my Phillips head screwdriver and I'm going to stick that in there, locate that screw, and unscrew it. Remember, righty tighty, lefty loosey. As you're unscrewing it, you can gently pull on the handle until it pops off. In this video clip, we will be installing our new stem. As I said before, it is vital that the new stem that you bought is exactly the same as the old one. If you have a Kohler faucet, you're only going to be able to replace it with Kohler parts. The parts between these faucets are not interchangeable, and if you do try to use a wrong part, It'll either not work properly, it'll leak, or you'll damage something. The first thing that we need to do is turn on 
our stem. So we're going to rotate our stem counterclockwise as if we're turning it on and you see the top move so that would allow the flow of water. Next we need to go ahead and start our stem and tighten it down with our socket. And you'll have to do this for both sides.